Thank you. No tears today. No crying. video welcome if you are new here today is the first day of spring this winter felt like it was never gonna end longest winter of my life but I just had this random idea to just spend the day by myself doing some fun festive spring type of things I want to go to a farmer's market and a consignment shop I actually have a therapy appointment in an hour so I need to hurry up but after I did that declutter, I still had some clothes left over that I didn't necessarily want to take them to the Goodwill. But I came across this consignment shop with my friend a few days ago. So I want to stop there today and take a couple pieces. I have this bucket. Oh my god. <clears throat> this bucket of clothes. I'm so glad I didn't throw these away. I just spent my day yesterday at a coffee shop working do y'all see the sun oh my gosh it's spring guys it's spring anyway let's go through a couple of these items and see what i can potentially sell i feel like they're probably gonna lowball me but i could try i have these nike sweatpants i'm gonna see what i can get from these they'll probably give me like five dollars or something but it's better than nothing this is what I think I hope I feel like I should profit the most off of this it's a brand new Nike I don't know it's not really a is it a rain jacket I don't know that's how I would describe it though like a rain jacket type of material it's not warm at all it's pretty see-through but it still has the tags on so hopefully they'll give me a decent amount because it's like literally brand new with tags still on this is another brand new item with a tag on it not as much though forty dollars but it is from forever 21 so quality is not amazing i just thought it was going to be cute when i first bought it and it's been in my closet for a year now i think a year exactly i bought this in march last year while i was in houston so i'm gonna see what they give me for that and then these two I'm not really sure if I'm gonna even try it because they're just little Nike hoodies. I usually get a men's medium. I don't know if it's just the style or the fit of these hoodies, but they're really small and like they just fit tight kind of around my chest. So I don't know, probably not. I mean, I'm gonna give it a try. I'll take these with me and we can try to see what they offer. Oh, 
went ahead and did my skincare off camera because I feel like y'all have seen that enough times. But liquid came in the freaking mail. I swear like maybe two or three days after I finished recording my last video, I got this PR package from Good Molecule. So this is not sponsored. I just love me some of them. So they sent me some PR. This is the package. It's so cute and it's giving spring they sent me a discoloration correcting serum which i have i think this is probably my third bottle of this and then a niacinamide brightening toner and then of course this freaking daily moisturizer that i was hoping for look at the freaking size difference this is a full size and look i used it all the way up she's gone so i got a full size one so i'm really excited about that but I'm most excited to try this overnight exfoliating treatment. Never tried it before, um, but it says you just put it on after your toner and before your moisturizer and you just leave it on overnight. I have been using this, um, this AHA and BHA exfoliating cleanser from Murad it has been clearing up my forehead. If y'all, mm, if you've ever like struggled with little forehead acne, that has been my struggle for my entire life. I'm telling you, I was just lacking exfoliation. So I started using that CeraVe salicylic acid cleanser that I swear by and I still use every single day. But I started adding in this AHA and BHA cleanser from Mirad like two to three times a week. Mm! Took things up a couple of notches. This is pretty pricey. I'm not gonna lie though, that's why I got the small bottle, but enough of my skincare rant i have about 30 minutes to finish getting ready <laughs> put on my makeup do my hair and get dressed i think i want to wear these cargo pants from pretty little thing it just it's just an item in my closet that i've been trying to wear and every time i put it on i just don't like how it looks or i can't find the right shirt to go with it so i'm gonna try to style these today okay so i did try to style it and it didn't go good as usual so i went with my old trusty asymmetrical jeans and a little white tank top with the back cut out and now my therapist is calling we ain't got generational wealth it's only a year that i've had these million my work could have been in a tokyo drift cars past them furious i went from the toyota yaris to euros they had their chance but blew it now this girl want me and her uterus fuck it i'm rich let's do it take a look at these diamonds wrong as a life for squinting can't just stare we're bait for a thick and thin she already fixed so i'm halfway there brown and bad could have changed my mind i was halfway there 100 meters i just put nine girl in a sprint 100 eaters, they won't fit in one SUV. No. SOS, somebody rescue me. I got too many, I got too many, many, and I got, they can last me the next two weeks. I feel like this is so low right now. Like, girl, pick it up, pick it up. I made it through my therapy session with no tears today, no crying. I love my therapist though, y'all. Like, I really. I really love her. She's really been helping me so freaking much lately. Like I genuinely look forward to my therapy session every single week. And sometimes she's like not available and I have to wait two weeks and I hate that. Like girl, two weeks is a long time. I need to talk to you. I did not have time to do my hair though because I really wanted to get to this farmer's market. I'm still not gonna get there until 12.15 and they close at one and y'all know if you've ever been to a farmer's market all the vendors and stuff be leaving early if you go in the last hour either the vendors like already sold out of their stuff or they just decided to leave for the day but yeah i still had to stop and get a little hat for this hair i've really been wanting to like start not a hat collection but like i literally have no hats i only have beanies so whenever i have a bad hair day in the spring or the summer i just be having to actually do my hair because i don't have you know a hat to put on so oh there's actually a lot of vendors still here but yeah i thought this blue hat would be cute with the little orange tote bag today they also had this really cute north face like it was kind of like a bucket hat or fisherman's hat type of vibe it was so cute but my head <laughs> it was so tight like big i'm not gonna lie it's tight as <laughs> girl i really need to learn what the circumference of my head is because i'm sure it's above average like that's one reason why i don't own that many hats because they don't be sitting on my head anyway let's go to this farmer's market and see what they got
Thank you. Thank you. Let's just do a large. That's the small for nine dollars. The large is ten, and then the jumbo is eleven. Okay. If, oh yeah. Let's go with the large. The large would be good. Okay. And I can do part. Yes. You're all set. Thank you. Kids and stuff, they hands down go for this one. But if okay. you're just gonna eat it with flavor and you don't mind seeds, I would probably go with the honey. I mean, okay. with the gold nugget. Can I do that one? Absolutely. And then I'm gonna get ahead of the red leaf lettuce too. And I also do a red butter lettuce. Fantastic, thank you. Thank Have you. a great day. Too. This is buttery Russian tea cookies. There is okay. no artificial flavor. My, my idea to bring back that old fashioned. There is no artificial flavors, no preservatives, no gluten syrup, no margarine. It's like if we eat something unhealthy, it mm -hmm. should be not harming our body. You know, it just right. like should be something really good. If we allow ourselves to like cheat, it has to be the best, you know. Okay. Yeah, so in peach I pastry, like it's two soft cookies and caramel condensed milk. It is hot, you guys. It is freaking hot already. What did I buy? What did I just buy? I finally get to use my little car cooler. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, girl. This is so embarrassing. Anyway, I finally get to use my little car cooler. I probably need to get some ice to put in here though, really, because I don't want these veggies and stuff to like wilt. Cause I'm still gonna be out for the day. And I also, I also got this freaking pork sausage. It's like a breakfast sausage. He said it's really good though. Of course he did, but um, it was frozen. So I'm hoping that like, it'll at least still be cold by the time I get home. But I got some pork sausage and ginger. This ginger, oh my gosh. I should have taken a picture of what the sign said. So hopefully I caught it on video. But basically he grows this ginger in water instead of soil so that he's able to grow it all year. And then um, one lady walked by and was like, yeah, you should get it, like it's really good. So I got a little piece of ginger, well, a big piece of ginger. My mom really likes red lettuce and butter lettuce. So I got her two of these red butter lettuces. I don't think she's tried this before. So hopefully she'll be as excited as I am. And then some honey, some type of honey mandarin, I don't know. It just sounded good. Then I got these little tea cookies and my mom requested some popcorn. So I got a huge bag of kettle. But yeah, I think I'm gonna run into Whole Foods because there's a Whole Foods right in this parking lot. Or not Whole Foods. Oh no, yeah, it is Whole Foods. I'm gonna run into Whole Foods and get some ice just so I don't have to worry about rushing home or any of this stuff going bad. It's a little bag. I'm really excited to go in here because I was actually just here last week. Y'all, they had so much cute name branded stuff. They even have it on the door. We buy and sell Madewell, Zara, Anthropology, Free People, Coach, Kate Spade, Lululemon. Like they had real gently used branded items in here. So if y'all live in the Sacramento or Roseville area, this place is called Uptown Cheapskate. But let's go see what we can do with these items and what we can find and hopefully I don't spend too much money. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're gonna have you go ahead and check in there on the iPad. Okay. We're gonna ask you some questions, including a driver's license number. Um, so let me know if you have any technical questions. Okay. Thank you. Of
in my size here. These are all size eights. These are cute. Some Zara shorts for 20 bucks. gave her my stuff and then I think I just have to wait for her to like tell me how much they can give me so we'll see but right now I'm just looking around at other clothes so far I've picked up these Zara shorts so cute they have like little zippers on them they're tan they're brand new still have the tags so I'm gonna get those and then I'm gonna see how much they offer me other consignment shops I've been to though they usually like will make you just leave all the stuff and then if they sell it they'll give you some money for it but I don't know if they're about to just tell me what they will give me for it if it sells or if they're gonna give it to me right now but we'll see okay what this is a Zara utility jacket Zara $25 what I have to look this up and see what it's going for at normal price because no way you've ever seen another Zara item but this is an extra small so not gonna fit me but really cute hello yes okay perfect so went through your items we're interested in everything that you have great thank you have an offer of 50 dollars in credit or 40 in cash for everything okay and um, if you choose the credit you do get 10 percent off today um you can still shop around try on make it your decision if you need to <laughs> definitely yeah, take your time i'll There's probably go with that option Thank you. That's perfect because I already have $50 worth of items in this cart. <laughs> and it was either that or give it to Goodwill for free. So I'm really not mad at $50 for everything. They also have some really cute, I think I might try to get more into skirts this summer. Like I could definitely pull this off with a little white tank. So cute, Kate Spade, a little bucket bag. Oh, I probably wouldn't wear it that much because it's lemons, but it's cute. I really wanted this the last time I came in here and I thought it was gonna be gone, but it's not gone. So I wonder if it's a sign. So cute. Bag is way cuter. Like you want to, ooh. I can take it like a pro, you know. Do a long throw with the backstroke. My hormones jumping like the disco. I be popping ish like some Crisco. And all you gotta say. Hopefully this lighting is not insane with the sun directly behind me. I was gonna go to a park that was out in Roseville where I just was like shopping at, but I was like, let me get home before the traffic picks up and just go to the park that's literally by my house. 
so i brought these books with me this one i've been reading it's called twisted love by anna i don't know if it's anna or anna but um anna huang and this book is so good if you know you know i'm only on chapter four i think but it's the furthest i've gotten in any book that i've read in a minute so i'm gonna read a little bit of this and then i also brought this out here because i thought i was gonna go to a crystal shop earlier but i spent enough money today and i kind of just didn't feel like it i was a little bit tired and my sister got me this crystal pairings book for valentine's day this year so it shows like a crystal and all about it on this page appearance meaning rarity healing properties and then it has like good pairings on the sides for all of these. I'm gonna just chill out here for right now. Read my books, eat my snacks. These tea cookies were actually so good. I already tried one of them and I probably should have got another box, but maybe next week. Why didn't y'all tell me? Why didn't y'all tell me that there has been a mark, a scratch, a piece of dust, something on my screen, literally this entire video, this entire video. Obviously I didn't see the scratch or the mark or whatever it is until I got home yesterday and I started rewatching my footage. I tried to fix it, I tried to wipe my lens off. I even switched the camera lens and I was still having the problem. So it turns out that the issue is probably with the body of my camera, which is very unfortunate because I'm gonna have to take it to a camera store or Best Buy or something at some point today so I can try and figure out what's wrong. But of course, I still wanna show y'all a quick little haul of all the things I got at the thrift store yesterday, which come to find out was actually not a thrift store or a consignment shop, but rather a resale store because they give you the money or the store credit or whatever you decide to choose um, up front instead of like waiting to make you get it afterwards, if that makes sense. But anyway, I got this cute little brown tank top, which was not going over my head at first, as you saw, it was like, are you sure this is a medium? But once I got it on, it fit like pretty good. It got right just under my chest. They also had a black version of this, but the black one had animal hair and I know I could have washed it off and this one honestly had a little bit too, but that one had like a lot and it just, I don't know, it just turned me off of it and I feel like I have enough black tops anyway. So I got this little brown one. Oh, I'm so excited about this. It's like a denim utility vest, but yeah, it's just this little brown utility vest. It's the cutest thing ever. And it was only $25. If you watched one of my thrifting videos from literally, I think it was like two years ago at this point, but I saw a very, not very similar, but it was just like a denim vest, but it was way too big for me, like not that cute. I think it was men's, not even like a good brand or anything like that. And I didn't end up buying it and I almost did out of desperation but now i'm like this was so worth the wait this is the denim vest i've been wanting i tried even to go on their website and like figure out how much this was actually retailing for but i think it's discontinued or something because i could only find it for like resale on poshmark or other sites like that i got this green tank top also from zara and it has some cutouts on the side i actually have a dress that looks practically identical to this and i feel like it'll be a cute spring summer top a good color because i always buy neutrals blacks browns tans gray don't really play around with color too much in my wardrobe so that will be a good buy a good little addition i got this basic gray tank from free people but i thought it was really cute still just because it has the thick like the thick trim on the side of the sleeves and the neck and then the bottom of the hem is like curved and it has another seam going down the back. I don't know, it just fit my body really cute. It was really flattering, like 
not doing too much. Like I want to wear a basic shirt, but I don't want to look basic. That's what this was. I got these shorts also from Zara. I'm not kidding you. Like I wasn't even going around looking specifically for Zara items. It was just everything that I picked up that I ended up liking happened to be from Zara. So maybe I need to go shopping there a little more often. But this was one of the first things that I picked up. The Zara Seamless Short Super High Rise Comforts. I got them in a size 10. They have little like distressing on the bottom. A little logo on the back and I thought that these pockets were zippers but they're actually not they're like just fake pockets unfortunately I wish they were real pockets but super cute I got this little baby tee I don't really love the graphic that's on it but it fit cute and it was cute colors and I don't I was like it probably doesn't really matter that it says rock more and has angels but I don't know it's just cute and lastly, I got this bag. This bag is from Free People. I almost didn't get it. I literally put it back. And the lady at the register was like, are you sure you want to put that back? Because it's really cute and I was eyeing it and I think you should get it. She was like, I'm not trying to sell it to you, but I'm like, you're trying to sell it to me and I'm going to buy it. <laughs> so I went and I picked it back up. I usually don't get bags that are like this big necessarily. I'm like a tiny purse girl, but I couldn't pass this. It was just, I don't know. I feel like it's a cute casual little bag but it could also be a beach bag i feel like it's a multi-purpose bag it even looks cute with the outfit that i had on yesterday and i've just been learning over the recent months that like accessorizing with bags and jewelry and just layers and stuff is really really does it for the outfits having um it wasn't really a fiasco with my camera honestly i was just kind of sad because i just got that camera in december and it's march and it's messed up already but luckily i have a warranty on it so i took it to best buy and there was a problem with the sensor on the camera so like if you take the lens off there's a little sensor on the body of the camera and it was scratched and unfortunately he could not fix it in store so I had to get my camera sent out to Sony and it's gonna be another two to three weeks before I get it back. So thank God I never got rid of this lovely camera right here. I'm just glad that that's even an option and I don't have to buy a whole new camera because that camera is extremely expensive and literally a few months old. But anyways, I'm making myself a little sandwich right now. Cut up some lettuce, onion, turkey meat, cheese, and... I was gonna make a cold sandwich because I'm actually about to meet Kayla at the park so we can just like chill and finish the rest of our work day. But I don't know, I just, I'm a hot sandwich over cold sandwich type of girl. Any day, so I'm gonna just eat my sandwich at home and then go meet her there in a minute. Bon appetit. And these mandarins, y'all, these mandarins from the farmer's market, they're called golden nugget mandarins, I believe. So freaking good, super sweet. Even the color of them, I'll show you guys because I'm about to eat it right now. But the color is like super vibrant. You can just tell it's a fresh, delicious little fruit. I was at the at the 
to let the birds go Have my prerogative, how you use your wings Do you think if I ask you yourself I can't hide that you can't It's an outside world If happiness is what you see as good as these little golden mandarins are, they have so many seeds. I have to spit seeds out on every bite. And then my mom somehow managed to eat one that had no seeds in it at all. I think like one seed in her whole thing. Tell me what it's made of. 